greet Philogius, Julia, Nerus and his sister, and Olympus and all the saints who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ greet you. Good morning and welcome to Daily Devotions at Cram and Kirk on Thursday the 13th of August 2020. Inspirational saints are the theme of our Daily Devotions this week. Let us pray. You fearful saints, fresh courage take. The clouds you so much dread are big with mercy and shall break in blessings on your head. Amen. Dare to be a Daniel, dare to stand alone. It's an old children's chorus and it gets to the nub of why Daniel is selected as an Old Testament saint. His name means God is my judge and he achieves almost legendary status in the book of Ezekiel. But we get access to more of his story in the book entitled Daniel. He is physically attractive, intelligent, a wise young man, but his main attribute is undaunted courage. You may recall Daniel and his three friends are exiled in Babylon, a strange land to them, making them um, settle down in the court of a foreign ruler. Everything possible is designed to make them conform to this non-Jewish culture. Not only were they educated as Babylonians, even their names were taken from them. Despite the pressures, Daniel and his friends, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, dared to be different. In turn, the three friends are sentenced to death and placed into a hot oven, a furnace, whilst later Daniel is forced to spend time overnight in a pit full of lions. Miraculously, they each survive these ordeals. To live as Christians today still needs a bit of steel. In some countries, Christians face physical dangers and legal penalties for practising their faith. In many places, even going to a church service is a declaration of difference. What can we learn from the daring Daniel and his pals? We can reveal that we too can dare and be strong and independent because of our belief in our God. The passage today takes up the story as Daniel is being placed in the pit with the lions. A stone slab was placed over the opening of the den. The king sealed the cover with his signet ring and the signet rings of all his nobles, fixing Daniel's fate. The king went back to his palace. He refused supper. He couldn't sleep. He spent the night fasting. At daybreak, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. As he approached the den, he called out anxiously, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God whom you serve so loyally saved you from the lions? O king, live forever, said Daniel. My God sent his angel who closed the mouths of the lions so that they would not hurt me. I have been found innocent before God and also before you, O king. I have done nothing to harm you. When the king heard these words, he was happy. He ordered Daniel to be taken out of the den. When he was hauled up, there wasn't a scratch on him. He had trusted his God. Then the king commanded that the conspirators who had informed on Daniel be thrown into the lion's den, along with their wives and children. Before they hit the floor, the lions had them in their jaws, tearing them to pieces. King Darius published this proclamation to every race, colour and creed on earth. Peace to you, abundant peace. I decree that Daniel's God shall be worshipped and feared in all parts of my kingdom. He is the living God, world without end. 
His kingdom never fails. His rule continues eternally. He is a saviour and a rescuer. He performs astonishing miracles in heaven and on earth. He saved Daniel from the power of the lions. From then on, Daniel was treated well during the reign of Darius and also in the reign of Sirius the Persian. Thanks be to God. Amen. Here's a segment of that old chorus. Standing by a purpose true, heeding God's command. Honour them, the faithful few, all hail to Daniel's band. Many mighty ones are lost, daring not to stand, who for God had been a host by joining Daniel's band. Dare to be a Daniel, dare to stand alone, dare to have purpose firm, dare to make it known. Let us pray. Great and loving God, as we join in these daily devotions, we thank you that we never do so alone, but in the company of your people. Open our hearts and minds to the saints, past and present, who have shown courage in challenging situations, their example has strengthened others. Loving God, we pray for those who are struggling today with a lack of courage and hold in your healing presence all who are ill in body, mind or spirit. Draw close to anyone who is consumed by guilt and in all the duties and activities of the day be our companion through Jesus Christ our Lord in whose name we pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. We close with a blessing. May God give us the grace to follow the great saints with courage, faith and love and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>